Have you ever been filming outside on a bright sunny day and all of a sudden the clouds come and then it changes the color of your image? I had that happen to me recently and I've got a tool here in the color page that's gonna make it really easy for you to fix. Let's jump into it. In Resolve here, I was filming a little unboxing for a new microphone set that records in 32-bit float. And if you look at my screen here, we have a color that looks good, but then the clouds come and it changes the way my whole image looks. Now I could make a cut where that starts to happen and use keyframes and do all kinds of stuff, but there's an easier way to do that and it's called using the color stabilizer. So let's jump over into the color tab right here. Now I've already gone ahead and put my little grade on there based on what I want this shot to look like. So all I'm gonna do is create a new node. I'm gonna select my last node, use Option or Alt plus S to add in a node. And I wanna drop on the color stabilizer. So open your effects, come down to this color stabilizer. I'm gonna drop it on my node. And now you're gonna see we have this little box in our window over here. Make sure you've got this effects overlay turned on. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make this bigger. Yeah, like that looks pretty good. Now over here under the color stabilizer settings, we can either analyze the entire frame or just the selected area. So I'm gonna go selected area. Now you would wanna use whatever area you want the color to stabilize in, right? So for me, it's mostly around here. I mean, I could make it smaller, you know, around just me, but I'm gonna do this for now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit live region analysis. Resolve is gonna do a little calculating there. And then we've got channels we can stabilize here. So do you wanna do balance and brightness, RGB? I'm gonna leave it on balance and brightness. I wanna stabilize the white balance, right? Because that's one of the big things that changes as the clouds cover up the sun, the whole image gets a lot cooler, right? So I wanna stabilize that. I also wanna stabilize the brightness because I want the exposure to stay the same. Down under the stabilize mode right here, you can choose levels and contrast, offset or gain. And then you've also got some more options down here that I'm just gonna leave at the default settings for now. So if I were to move ahead in my frame to where the clouds come, you can see now it looks pretty much the same. If I turn off that node with the color stabilizer, it looks a lot more bluish, right? And not quite as bright. If I turn that node back on, now we can see the exposure is a little bit better as well as the color, right? Now, obviously the exposure goes down a little bit because the clouds are blocking the sun, but it does a pretty good job of balancing that out. And for me in this unboxing, this was gonna be good enough that I don't really need to change much over here. I'm happy with it. I think it looks good enough. And that color stabilizer made it a really quick and easy job. So if you've got exposure or white balance that's shifting on you and you want an easy fix for it, try out the color stabilizer. I found that it works out pretty good, at least in my situation so far, but it's one of those tools you can grab, slap on there, give it a try if it works. Do two thumbs up, less work you have to do there in the color page. That wraps up this quick tip Tuesday. I will see you in the next video. Peace.